Hello everybody, how's it going? Uh, welcome to another episode of the Gamer Guru Challenge, a game show all about video games. Once again, I'd like to welcome to the show Elise, Agent Iron Spider, and JT. How you guys doing? Awesome. Doing good. Well. Cool, cool. Yeah, here on this show, we will run three games, uh, each game with multiple rounds. Our gurus are attempting to earn points. Whoever has the most points at the end of the show earns a trophy. And of course, whoever has the most trophies at the end of the season will be the grand champion. Currently, looking at the scoreboard, uh, JT has got two trophies and Elise has one as we are starting episode four. But before we get into it, anything crazy going on with you guys? Anything in the gaming world? Um, I did finish up my second playthrough of Stray Gods. Did the DLC come out on that yet? Uh, it comes out tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, so prepping for it, huh? Yep. Do we know... Um, yeah, does the I DLC... I up a few more achievements on it, so that was the other thing. Do a different indie. Does the DLC on that take place after, or is it like in the middle of the game, or do you know if it matters? I think it's after, because you're... Um, I mean, you can clearly see by the trailer, you're going back and see it's Orpheus is who you're one of the people that you're meeting. Do you ever get around to playing that one, Elise? No, it's on my agenda. It's very good. But alas, I have fallen into the trap of getting sucked into an MMO and that is my, <sighs> yeah. Well, you know me about playthroughs and how I take my time. Mm. I went through two playthroughs, and it's 14 hours is what I got gameplay. So there. Oh, cool. So maybe I'll I... be able to sneak it in in between. Um, I, yeah, possibly starting up Warframe. Oh, my gosh. It's uh, a good one, though, that you can just auto-save and just go to it in and out of it. So. You mean the Stray Gods? Yep. <clears throat> yeah. So, and I still have to finish Cyberpunk 2077. But it is on my agenda. I mean, it's on my Steam wish list. So I just need to buy it and play it. It is totally my jam, I'm sure. So, yeah. So, as you know, I've been uh, doing my first playthrough of Dragon Age Origins. Uh, after the first village, I went to Red Cliff Village. Okay. And. Let's just say I probably should have gone elsewhere first. That <laughs> fight was a struggle. <laughs> yeah, I don't usually go to Red Cliff until towards more towards the end, just because it's a lot. You're Which brave. Fight? Uh, the uh, the invasion of the village. Mm. Oh yeah. I was actually only able to do it because um, I grabbed a healing spell for my, uh, a sorceress and controlled her and just kept everybody alive. <laughs> Lost a couple of couple of uh, knights, but no name first. Losing those knights, that's good. Yeah, you're just going to destroy the game now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, apparently, if you're able to keep everybody alive, you get extra rewards. Hmm. Yeah. I think it was a that makes part. sense. Yeah. That's just wait. That's just the first round. Oh, go ahead, JT. I'm sorry. <clears throat> just the tactics on it. It's very important to try to get some of those things. Like the side. I think there's some side missions that make the battle a little easier. So. Oh, very cool. <laughs> Well, with that, we will go ahead and get this started. Uh, every week, I like to uh, warm up with just a, a couple quick little questions to get the, the gurus thinking. Uh, once again, you will use your uh, buzzers for this. Uh, also, a reminder that each of you have a cheat code available to you for this episode if you choose to use it. So, buzzers... JT, you don't know the answer yet. <laughs> I, don't know, I, just, I just tested earlier. Uh, JT, and your answer is? Um, 
whatever Elise has. Oh. <laughs> Remember, I got all of like 60 points the first game, so I'm not sure you should blindly follow me. Yeah, but you won the last game. <laughs> uh, the answer of whatever Elise has is not on the board. <laughs> I need to see the board. No. First warm up question What 1985 video game begins with a planned departure from Independence, Missouri? It's an Iron Spider. Ooh. Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail is correct. Oh, you go. Uh, I, that was one of the first video games I ever played because that was one of the ones my parents would allow me to play. <laughs> there was so much death in that game, though. I think it's going to corrupt the yeah, children. There's a lot of death. Like and that was deal. a little like past, like I was in high school, I think, then. So I'm oh, there are multiple versions. I Oregon know, but, I mean, that was the little kid game. I wasn't about to play that one, so <laughs> I just I didn't until later. <laughs> Second warm-up question. What video game franchise features Dr. Willy as the primary villain? Or sorry, Wily, not Willy. JT. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic is incorrect. Dr. Wily. Video game series. Yep. I'll give you guys like 30 seconds if you want to throw out a guess. Mm -hmm. You can name the series or a single video game. <laughs> Either, either I don't one. even know who that character is. I don't either. How about Bioshock? Here, Bioshock. I'm sure it's not right, but... Yeah, Bioshock is incorrect. <clears throat> Just want to throw out something, Agent Iron Spider? Nah. Uh, the correct answer is the Mega Man franchise. Oh. Okay. So we will go ahead and jump into our first game of the day. Uh, we are going back to Bullet Storm. Uh, in this game, I have a game with five bullet points, and our gurus have to try and figure out what that game is based on the five bullet points. I will give them the bullet points one at a time, and they're able to buzz in once per bullet point. Uh, you will also get 20 points if you can get the correct answer in the first two bullet points or 10 points for three, four, and five. Everybody ready? Ready? Yep. All yep. right. First game you are looking for. The code name for this game was Titan. JT. Overwatch. Oh, you beat me by 4.75 4. seconds. <laughs> JT says Overwatch. And Overwatch is correct. I thought that one might be a little bit too easy when I made that up, but I was like, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know if these guys point. remember code names. I would have gotten that one right because I remember that one. Yeah, <laughs> we, all, we all remember it's the MMO. That's what we wanted. <laughs> What what was the second point? Yeah, so the uh, rush of the bullet points. So bullet point number two, uh, no sector is an omnic liberation oh, group. I, I, I would have gotten it with that. Oh, no, uh, no sector. Uh, number three was uh, this game was in development for seven years before being changed. Uh, bullet point number four, some of the voice actors were our uh, Jennifer Hale and Darren DePaul. And then number five was, it's a Blizzard game. <laughs> All right. Second game you guys are looking for. A little bit harder this time. First bullet point. The game came out in 2017 and has a Metacritic of 93. He's an Iron Spider. Uh, Senua's... Uh, sacrifice? Hellblade said it was sacrifice? Yep. 
Agent Iron Spider says uh, Hellblade 1. Uh, that is incorrect. Oh, I thought you had that. <laughs> you sounded quite confident. Anybody else want to throw out a guess? Otherwise, we'll move on to number two. Okay, I think we'll move on to number two. So, Easy Allies had to say this about the game. If this game had only been an enormous single-player RPG, it would still be far better than most of what you could compare it to. What kind of clue is that? Okay. Um, was that a Can interview that site? <laughs> I, was, I was confused. Yeah, so it, it was basically like a review quote from Easy Allies. Okay, that's what I you didn't know, understand. If this game had only been an enormous single player RPG, it would still be far better than most of what you could compare it to. I feel like the first line in there is a bit more of a key compared to the second part. If the game had only been an enormous single player RPG. 2017? 2017, yep. JT? Um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Just throwing out there. Yep, uh, Breath of the Wild is incorrect. Elise? Okay, I'm just going to try it because I'm the last one, right? No, you're not. Hades? Oh, okay. Well, uh, whatever. Hades. Incorrect. <laughs> Anything Agent Iron Spider? Otherwise, we'll go to the number three. No, I don't got him. Okay. Bullet point number three. You play as a Godwoken, a sorcerer who can wield the power, uh, powerful magic known as the source. I'll read that again. You play as a Godwoken, a sorcerer who can wield the powerful magic known as source. Uh. JT. Vinny, Original Sin 2. JT says Divinity, Original Sin 2. That is the correct answer. Oh, wow. Source. Yeah, even here, uh, again, going back to Summer Game Fest, um, Avowed takes place in that universe, and so uh, some of those terms have been thrown around recently. Uh, in some of the, you know, trailers and stuff like that, so. The other two uh, bullet points on that one, and the fourth one would would have got you guys really thinking. So, this was the game that Larian did before Baldur's Gate 3. Or actually, no, wait oh, a minute. Okay. I, I just said yeah, that incorrectly, didn't I? I thought Divinity... Oh, um, no, you know what? I'm thinking of Pillars of Eternity. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. So, I, I, I said that <laughs> incorrectly. <laughs> So, Avowed is the Pillars universe, not the Divinity universe. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes more sense. It's an Obsidian game. But they have a very similar <laughs> term, uh, like Godwoken or whatever. Uh, yeah, the, I was like, that term sounds so familiar. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the source is what I went by, the Godwoken. And then the. And I have never played Divinity. I played Same. Pillars of Eternity, but not Divinity. Yep. And the last bullet point on that was a game in the Divinity series. All right, then our final round, or our final game for Bulletstorm. First bullet point. Uh, this game is in the top 10 all-time peak players on Steam. JT. Gonna strike two. Uh, JT says CS go, and that is incorrect. Agent Iron Spider. 
player on battle. What? You broke up, I think, on my side. Player unknown battlegrounds. Ugh. Yep. Also known as PUBG. Yep. Agent Iron Spider says PUBG, and you are correct. It is PUBG. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I just went with the first like concurrent game I could think of. I was gonna say Destiny 2. Which okay. I don't I could be wrong. I don't think Destiny 2 is in the top ten. I don't know. They had when the new expansion dropped, supposedly they hit some pillar for a number of concurrent players. I don't know if it was all time, but I mean... they, they did really well, I guess, according to some articles, so I mean, PUBG has been in the top five for years now. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, here real quick, if anybody's curious, I'll just straight up and tell you what the top ten all time is. So PUBG cool. is actually number one. Uh, funny enough, PAL World is now the number two, and then it's CS, wow. CSGO. It's then it. Lost Ark, Dota 2, Elden Ring, New World, that new dumb banana game... Uh, <laughs> Baldur's don't, Gate 3 don't call and... it a game You're right, it's not a game uh, Baldur's Gate 3 and then Cyberpunk 2077 Oh, Cyberpunk's up there now Awesome Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised Pal World made it But uh, Helldivers didn't Pal World's had a little bit longer to go though Than Helldivers uh, uh, By about a month Maybe, but Um I mean, didn't Power World like have like big time hype there for a little while? Yep. That there's there's <laughs> that is true, and it and it also is getting an up a big update. Yep. It, it also did not have the review bombing and stuff that happened as a result of other stuff. So as we head into round number two, a uh, quick store uh, score update: uh, JT and Agent Iron Spider are tied with thirty. For our second game, we're going to go back to uh, one that we have previously played. We're going to go back to Metacritic Roundup. <laughs> so you guys will oh, use, fun. Use, use the spreadsheet for this one. So in this game, I'm going to give our gurus a list of games. They then have to organize these games in Metacritic order from highest to lowest. And so here real quick, I will be updating your spreadsheets with the first list. And for those who are watching in chat, that is the first list right there. And yeah, the first one is going to be a Star Wars special. Oh boy. So can you put the Star Wars games in the proper order? Star Wars Connect, Force Unleashed, Jedi Survivor, Star Wars Galaxies and Star Wars The Older Public from highest to lowest Metacritic, and you have 60 seconds starting now. Yeah, the Star Wars Connect one came up a couple of weeks ago on this show. Elise didn't know <laughs> that it was a thing. Hey, I wasn't an Xbox player then. I'll have to send you uh, a link sometime to the uh, the Han Solo dancing video. It's very good. <laughs> um. How's everybody in chat doing tonight? Also, remember, chat, the gurus do have a cheat code which allows you to help them. So if one of them decides to use it, be on your toes. You guys got about mm -hmm. 10 seconds. I always said Kid Lee's chat is the best chat on Twitch. <laughs> All right, and I'll have you stop right there. So we will start with Elise on this one. If you want to uh, go down your list and tell me what you got. All right, a lot of this is guessing. So don't flame me. Um, uh, Jedi Survivor, Galaxies, Force Unleashed, Old Republic, and Connect Star Wars. All right, Agent Iron Spider. I got Survivor, Force Unleashed, Galaxies, Old Republic, and Connect. All right, and JT. Um, number one, I have uh, Force Unleashed, 
uh, Jedi Survivor number two, number three, Star Wars Old Republic, number four, Star Wars Galaxies, and then number five, uh, next Star Wars. Okay, this is very interesting. <laughs> All right, so JT, you have two correct. Agent Iron Spider, you have two correct, and Elise has three correct. Interesting. So Shock. I'm going to give Sorry. you another 60 seconds to revise your list if you choose to do so, or you can just hold the points that you currently have. So 60 seconds uh, has started. Yeah, very interesting. I'm very curious to see how Elise is going to do on the next one. <laughs> That's a little ominous. Uh, that's a little ominous. <laughs> Line Walker in chat says, "Watch Connect be number one." Hey, that was a good dancing <laughs> game. That was a good game. It was a good <laughs> dancing game. That solo song was also very good. Got about 10 seconds. All right. And I'll have you stop right there. All right. Elise, did you make any changes? I did not. I have zero points. So I decided to hold the 30 that I got. Okay. JT? Uh, yeah. I, I switched and I went back. And I just I last minute switch. I changed up the four and five. So now my uh, one is Force Unleashed, two is Jedi Survivor, three still Charles One Public, and I put Star Wars Galaxies. As much as it hates me to do this, I put them at five and connect at four. All right, you're banned from the channel for that. Uh, wait. <laughs> I didn't say that's what I go for. <laughs> I remember that Kid Lee is a huge fan of Galaxies. He's my favorite game of all time. time. <laughs> Mine too. I should get a bonus point for having it at number two. Just saying. <laughs> all right. Agent Iron Spire, did you change any? I have Survivor, Old Republic, Force Unleashed, Galaxies, and Connect. Okay. Agent Iron Spider, you have somehow, I think this is the first, you got them all. Wow, ah. nice. So Elise has three, and JT, your switch did ruin you. You have zero. Yeah, zero. All oh, out. No. So wait really? a minute. What was your Force list again? I'm sorry. So here I had Jedi Survivor, okay. The Old Republic, Force Unleashed, Galaxies, and Night. Force Unleashed was three. Wow. So I had the first one. What was your two? I'm so sorry. Oh, I had Jedi Survivor and Connect first, and, and when he yeah. said I had two, and you had, uh, no, he, yeah, he said I had two and you had three, I figured it was my top and bottom were probably correct, so that, and the, it just was fiddling with the others. Okay. So nice. the, the exact numbers on that is Jedi Survivor has a Metacritic of 86, Star Wars The Old Republic is an 85, so they're only one Ooh. off. Oh, yeah. uh, after that, it goes down, so Force Unleashed is a 73. It Star Wars Star Wars Galaxies, well. the best game ever, is 71. <laughs> and then Star Wars Dancing, uh, 55. 55. <laughs> so. hey, Force Unleashed that low of a score, though. No, I yeah. knew that it, it, it was, it was um, what's the word I want to use there? I don't want to say edgy, but it was... Um, I don't know if controversial, but I just remember there was a lot of kind of people going, I love it, I hate it, I love it, I hate mm -hmm. it. When wow. it I mean, Galaxies doesn't surprise me that much since it, since a lot of ha why it was great was player driven. Yep. Not necessarily uh, the actual game, but what the players did in the game. Yep. Oh, this is interesting. All right. So for oh, our painful, painful. Oh. For our uh, second list of games, I'll display it to oh. chat here. We're going from a Star Wars special to a Tomb Raider oh. special. Oh. Rise this of the Tomb awesome. Raider, Tomb Raider Legend, Tomb Raider Underworld, Tomb Raider Chronicles, and then Tomb Raider 1996. 
And you didn't have the Team okay. Raider on here that would have been the an, the uh, equal of Connect Star Wars. Shame. So, it... <laughs> I, I have no idea where where these games place in the uh, order of when they were released. Like, I mean, I can get the 1996, but the others, I have no idea. All right, wow. 60 seconds starts now. I don't know how good I'm going to be, so don't flame yeah, me. Yeah, this is going to be tough. <laughs> uh, no, I could be mistaken here, but I believe the 96 is the oldest one. Yeah, and Elise sure. can probably confirm, I believe Rise is the most current. Yes. Other than that, I have no idea. <laughs> that, that, I mean, that's basically what I figured. I'm going to have to do guesses for some of these. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Jesse Stardust is also a big Tomb Raider fan. Yes, yeah, she is. Elise is and like, who... uh, can I call a, can I phone a friend right now? Oh, well, who got Jess into, uh, into Tomb Raider? That would be me. <laughs> All right. You've got like five seconds. Oh, God. I was having, I was having issues. Okay, so I literally copied over like, my list <laughs> by accident. So <laughs> you're going to have like, to re-put them on there. That's I'm going to have to just type in oh, some I stuff. See. Okay, hold on. Do you want me to like redo the left side list for you? No, I'll just redo it. In, uh, uh, Here, I, I just repasted it there if you need it. Thank you. I spelled Chronicles wrong. Sorry, technical difficulties. I'm just gonna slap some stuff up here and then I'll worry about it, I guess. I have Chronicles in there twice. Okay. <laughs> Underworld. So, okay, sorry. As Elise is fixing her uh, her deal there, I will start with uh, JT. What is your list? Guessing here, we're gonna go with Tomb Raider Underworld, number one. Uh, Rise of Tomb Raider, number two. Uh, Tomb Raider Legend, number three, uh, Tomb Raider 96, four, and Tomb Raider Chronicles, five. Okay, Agent Iron Spider? Uh, all complete guesses. Uh, I got Rise of Tomb Raider, <laughs> 96, Legend, Underworld, and Chronicles. All right, and Elise? Um, I have the original Tomb Raider, Rise... Chronicles, Legend, then I'm having, I was freehand typing at those ones, and Underworld last. Okay. <clears throat> so, Agent Iron Spider, you currently have one, JT has two, and Elise has three. Oh, wow. So, okay. once again, another 60 seconds to make any adjustments if you choose to do so. Gosh. Yeah, you guys know this, right? <laughs> mm, you said I have three, right? Yep. When I was making up this list, I almost listed all three of the new ones, but that would have really, I think, been bad. <laughs> So I'm like, I'm, I'm oh, I'll go find some other ones. I can, I'm confused how I would have had one if Elise also had three because none of ours match. Okay, so I just wait, messed up the, my wait, order Wait, in the again. last one? Or <gasps> in the Tomb Raider one you're saying? Yeah. You had one and I had three, right? Yeah. Yeah. But none of, none of, none of our placements matched. So oh, I that's had... Correct. So the, the one that you have, rise, she didn't get. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <clears throat> All right. You guys got five seconds. All right. Three, two, one, and stop. 
All right, JT, did you make any changes? Yes, I did. I mean, okay. What's your I list? was out of my mind to not have the original Tomb Raider as number one, <laughs> and then Rise of Tomb Raider number two, number three, Tomb Raider Legend, and then I went Chronicles number four, and Underworld five. Okay. And Agent Iron Spider? Yeah, I went um, 96, Rise, Legend, Chronicles, and Underworld. Okay. And Elise? I did not because I'm having technical issues. Okay. So you, you, decided, <laughs> so, you decided to keep your 30 points. This, yes. <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> so, um, Elise wins the round by keeping the 30 points. Uh, oh. Both JT and Agent Iron Spider, the, your top two were the same. And so, actually, all three of you had the same top two, which were correct. So, Tomb Raider, then Rise. Yep. Yeah. So, for those in chat, here is the correct breakdown. So 1996 has a Metacritic of 91, Rise has a Metacritic of 86, and then Underworld 80, Legend 82, and Chronicles a mere 63. Mm, I like Underworld. So, so my one before was Chronicles. Yes, correct. So that's 20 points to Agent Iron Spider and JT, and another 30 to Elise. All right, and then we'll clear the boards and do one final round of the Metacritic Roundup. We'll get uh, away from uh, doing single franchise games. So, alas, I enjoyed oh. that. <laughs> okay, I enjoyed oh, that. <laughs> so this this list might be even more difficult. Uh, we'll we'll see here. So. Here is the oh. new list for you guys, and then here is... Are we is... talking about... Clarification. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah clarification. clarification. So we're talking about Vanilla Destiny 2? Is that what you're talking about there? Vanilla or does Destiny that include... 2? It would does be... Does that include the... DLCs? It'd be... No, it would not include DLCs, because those have separate Metacritics. So we're talking about Vanilla Destiny 2. So it would be Destiny 2, the Metacritic as of, like, last week. But that's with an expansion. No, it, that has a separate listing on Metacritic. Yeah. Mm, okay, okay, I see what you're saying. I see. I see what you're saying. So yeah, it's Destiny to the base Metacritic. Like the original release back in what was it twenty? Was it eighteen, nineteen, something like that? Eighteen. And what? Which Assassin's Creed is it? The OG, number one. The OG, yeah. Okay. Okay, so 60 seconds starts right now. So yeah, Yakuza 3, Elden Ring, Assassin's Creed 1, StarCraft 2, Wings of Liberty, and Destiny 2. Wow. So once again, our gurus have to put these in order from uh, best reviewed game to least reviewed game. These are actually some bangers, by the way. Yeah, it's like, I don't know what's more difficult when you do nothing but Star Wars games or a list of all yeah. good games. Uh, Star Wars games? <laughs> Linewalker in chat says I would put them in the order uh, I got them in right now. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe one of those days, one of these days, I'll do that and I'll really trip everybody up. Uh, actually, that's not. Or maybe I did it this time. Who knows? <laughs> All right, five seconds, and I'll have you stop right there. Uh, so this time we're starting with Elise. Okay, again, no hate. I am guess. This, this is a lot of guess. Um, I have Elden Ring first, Yakuza 3 second, Destiny 2 third, Assassin's Creed, and StarCraft. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Spider? 
I have Elden Ring, Yakuza 3, Assassin's Creed, Destiny 2, and StarCraft. Okay, and JT? Uh, I want to protest at least copying the paper because that's exactly what I had. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even, I wasn't cheating, didn't uh, even look at just, your paper. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> Elden Ring 1, uh, Yakuza 3 is 2, uh, Destiny 2, number 3, uh, Assassin's Creed 4, and StarCraft Wings of Liberty 5. So you two just had one change from what I had. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, you I just had Assassin and Destiny swapped. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Interesting. So in this particular case, what I'm going to do is I'm actually not going to tell you how many you have correct, but what? I'm just going to simply ask, do you want to make any changes? <laughs> Did we that get means it? somebody Did got it all right. Did it all right. <laughs> So if, e if either you two did it all right or I did it all right. Okay, so no. So if some <laughs> if somebody has it 100% right now, it's game over. So. Okay. But in this case, <sighs> if I were to give you information, then uh, it would turn the tables. And so I can't do it in this particular case. So I'll just give you like uh, a quick 30 seconds if anybody wants to make any changes. I will say that everybody has at least one correct. Oh wow, that's rude. That's that's cruel. <laughs> <laughs> that is very cruel. Uh, oh, man. all right. Here, I believe this is where you need to uh, do the the um, Mexican standoff music from Pat the Ugly. <laughs> See who actually pulls the trigger. I'll give you one other. You all have Elden Ring correct. Oh, that's the same thing you just told us. We all know that. That was a I mean, that was <laughs> We all had Elden Ring first, man. I, I, I'm, I'm going to make Actually. one change. Okay. I'm going to swap Destiny 2 and StarCraft. Oh, wow. Edgy. Yeah. Look at you there. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> I mean, go um, big or go home, right? Okay, so I'll have you stop right there. So, no. Elise, did you make any changes? I did not. JT? No, I didn't. Okay, so Agent Iron Spider, what's your new list then? Elden Ring, Yakuza 3, Assassin's Creed, StarCraft, and Death. Okay, so JT and Elise, you, because you had the same list, you both had three correct. I'll take it. And take Agent Iron Spider had no changes, uh, so you have your one correct. I thought Agent Iron Spider made a change. He did make a change. He's even after the change. Food. Oh. Oh. So the so correct listing and scores on that one are Elden Rings at a ninety-six. Mm -hmm. It's then Starcraft at a ninety-three. Oh. oh. Destiny 2 at 87. Assassin's Creed at 81. And Yakuza at a 79. Um, I thought Yakuza. Yakuza was way higher than I that. Did too. I, I did too. Yeah. Maybe it was an early what? Yakuza game we are thinking of. Oh, maybe it was Yakuza 2. Because that was three. Uh... All right, now I need to see the score. What is Yakuza 2? Anybody got? Huh. Yeah, I thought you could. I'm not sure how, how telling us what what we had. I'm not sure how that would have uh, been different from previous rounds. So basically, Wait. since the three, the two of them had the same list, if I would have said you, they both have three correct, you would know what those three are. Oh, well, if you were yeah, paying attention. Okay. Yeah. And he was. I think he was arguing with you, though, game host. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that does. I learned my lesson, sir. <laughs> so as we head into the uh, third and final game, uh, Agent Iron Spider currently has the lead with 110 points. JT is at 80 and Elise is at 90. So it is very, very close. Can I please ask? I know we have time issues and stuff. What was the list again? It's Elden Ring. It was. Yeah, yeah, StarCraft second. Then Destiny. 
then Assassin's Creed, then Yakuza 3? Yep. That's how you had it. No, to start not. with. No, it's not. Yeah, because I didn't change the one on the left side. Isn't that the way that it was? you gave it to us originally? Oh, it is. Yes, oh, it is. Oh, is it? It is. It is. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the way that he had it on stream, stream. but it is Maybe, the way that he I'm gave it to us. I'm talking about the way he gave it to us it's in the spreadsheet. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Because wow. I copied and pasted that line from one side that? to the next it, column it, over. So. Oh my. <laughs> so I, I'll I'll tell you what happened there. That's that's line what you got it. That's what you call a production error because <laughs> on my on my spreadsheet I have the correct list and the mixed up list and I copied the wrong ones to you guys. But in the end it doesn't matter because you still don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Is, that's funny. The line walker actually won that round. Mm, we line. were getting a hit, y'all. Uh, no, no, because he had it the incorrect one on stream. Yeah. Oh, I got you. Because yeah, when I make up the the stream uh, list, I use the uh, mixed up one for that. So. Gotcha. But yeah, we'll go ahead and jump into our uh, final game, and you guys know what it is. It is gaming family feud. The gaming community has been surveyed. Top five answers on the board. If I want an open world RPG, and Agent Iron Spider says. Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey and it's the number one answer he gets 50 points and so it goes 50 40 30 20 10 and we will always start with whoever has the lowest score and work our way to the highest score each guru gets two shots at any given category mm. um are we using the buzzer okay I was gonna say because agent iron spider has buzzed in so you might want to clear it no there's no if buzzer for this one that was the last buzz. Yep. Uh, hey, I don't, I don't mind. Just, just trying to be the teacher's pet, I suppose, to tell you that. <laughs> so our first category for the day. Fill in the blank. Tom Clancy's blank. And we start with. This is the first time this has ever happened. Starting with JT. Splinter Cell. Oh. JT says Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. That is the 40 point answer. Which gives you the lead by 10 points. Oh. And then we go to Elise. Oh, okay. I'm going to hope this is right, but it might not be. Um, is it Tom Clancy's? Is it Ghost Recon? Is that one of his games? Is that your final answer? Yes. Lee says, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. That is the 30-point answer. Oh, cool. Nice. Okay. So I got two of them. Question is, which one's the 50-point? Yep. So you got the 50, the 20, and the 10 on the board. Let's go with Rainbow Six Siege. Agent Iron Spider says, Tom Clancy's oh. Rainbow Six Siege. And that is... The 50 point answer. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't think of that one. My kid plays that one all the time. Yeah, I, I knew that. I I figured Splinter Cell. What is it with this community? You got young whippersnappers answering these questions. <laughs> <laughs> Ubisoft, yeah. see, we need a new game. It's, it's lost out of the kids' mind. They haven't seen it. Back to JT, you got the 20 of the 10. Tom um, Clancy's The Division. JT says Tom Clancy's The Division. That is the 20 point answer. Mm. I'll be surprised if you guys get this last one. I don't know that I'm gonna because I'm kind of like out of Tom Clancy idea, game ideas. It's me, right? Yep. Um, Tom Clancy's The Division 2. So I will say the division covers all oh, the division packs. So. Bummer. <laughs> that, that was what I was going to get. Yep. Right? Same, same for the other ones. So all the, <laughs> all the Ghost Recon games, all the Splinter Cell well, games off the know. board. So it'd be another one of the franchise titles. Gosh. I don't know. Okay. 
That's when you start um, mentally going through the books. All right. Uh, I mean, I don't think there was a the hunt for Red October, so. You can try it. Okay, Tom Clancy's The Hunt for October. I know there, I don't think there was, but that's the I think of. I wasn't a huge Tom Clancy fan besides that book. Uh, Tom Clancy's The Hunt for Red October is not on the list. Yeah, shocking. <laughs> and Agent Iron Spider with the last, if you want to try and get 10 more. What were the other answers? Yep, so we got Rainbow Six Siege, Splinter Cell, Ghost Recon, and The Division. I know there is another one. I'm just not remembering what the name is. So I'll pass. If anybody wants to take this one, Line Walker in chat says Tom Clancy's uh. Minecraft. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Maybe we don't want to ask uh, chat. Yeah. The new one, X Defiant, is out there. <laughs> X Defiant. Uh, so officially you're passing? Yes. Okay. Uh, the one you guys didn't get, Tom Clancy's Hawks. And it's yeah, spelled H A W X. I do not even I've, know. I've never heard of that one. Same. One and two, there's actually Rainbow Six. Sick, they had like the uh, Vegas ones too, but but that's actually Rainbow Six. Six, but yeah, the one I was thinking of was the Rainbow Six spinoff that came out and that, that started production and then kind of f fizzled out. Extraction, yeah, that may have been what it was because yeah, they did so many Rainbow Six mm, that like yeah. Siege is a totally different game than some of those others, but it's kind of like um. What other game? I mean, it's sort of kind of like uh, what, uh, like uh, they did fifty bazillion different versions of Skyrim, right? Mm, yeah. So. All right, going into the next the round, uh, Agent Iron Spider in the lead with one sixty, JT one forty, Elise one twenty. It's anybody's game. Next category, uh, one of Elise's favorites. So we got to do it. <laughs> Name a type of Pokemon. Oh my God, not this oh one again. So I think in the first game we had a name a Pokemon status effect. Now this is just straight up name a type of Pokemon. <gasps> and Elise is starting. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, a type. I don't even really understand what you mean by that. So I'm totally going to be just, I don't even, okay. Um, so is that like a plant Pokemon? Could be. Okay, we'll go with that. If it's wrong, then at least I'll know what not to say. Okay. Uh, Elise says uh, plant. I will accept that answer. Uh, plant slash grass is the 30 point answer. So I was right when we're talking about that kind. I vaguely remember that, so. And JT. Fire. JT says fire. Fire is the 50 point answer. I knew it would be. Pikachu is not fire, though, right? No, no, Pikachu is not fire. Uh, I'm going to choose water. Agent Iron Spider says water. And if that's not the 40 point, that's a travesty. No, nope, you got it. It's it's the 40 point. Yep, 100%. I don't even understand the significance of that. So, like, that's how much I just love this category. <laughs> it's like a turtle is a water Pokemon because it, it hangs around water and stuff. Mm -hmm. I just remember what Charizard or whatever was the plant one. Charizard like would be a fire Pokemon. Was was it, what was the plant one? Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Oh, okay. I just remember my kid playing the whatever 
fire and ice or whatever it is on the Game Boy, and yeah. And I believe we're back to Elise. You got the twenty, oh, the ten. Oh boy, is it elect elect electric electricity, whatever? Could be. You wanna try that? Yes, please. Uh, you are correct, and Pikachu is an electricity Pokemon, but <laughs> electricity slash Pikachu is not on the list. I don't know how. Oh, wow. It's probably like the six. Oh. It's probably I the six. I would have thought that would have been 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're anti Pikachu. Wow. That was just, that was cruel. Those of you, my, my folks with the um, Family Feud point surveyors. And JT with a 20 and 10? Ice. Ice? Oh, uh, Ice slash frozen slash snow is not on the list. Wow. Interesting choice. I'm going to go with stone. There are some good stone Pokemon. Uh, stone slash rock slash earth not on the list really so huh. the two that you didn't get is there like a psychic one or something like that some kind of mind one or something yes yes, yes. yep uh the two that you didn't get the 10 point answer uh i would say that this this one's probably more like current gen uh fairy what? How does fairy rank over stone? I have no idea. <laughs> and uh, Pikachu. The the ten, I think the ten makes sense. Ghost. But still, how, right. how is that above stone and electricity? <laughs> I have no idea. Why do you want to be dogging out Pikachu? Oh. Wow. Right. Remember what the fifty point answer was for Pika the status? That was poison. So how does poison not make it? I, think I said I that still... last time, didn't I? And like I got there's the also beginning? dragon type, iron type. Yeah. So yeah, in that other category we did several episodes ago, it was poison, paralyzed, sleep, confusion, and fire burn. Wow. So. Boy, I love this category. <laughs> well, uh, the category's over. <laughs> as we head into the uh, the final. Final, final, final round. Agent Iron Spider still in the lead with 200. JT 190. And at least 150. So anybody could still win this. Wow. And we are once again starting with Elise in the category of oh. name a video game character who is known to wear sunglasses. Ah. Uh. Name a video game character who is known to wear sunglasses. Okay, this is out of loyalty. I'm going to say this. Laura Croft. Well, Tomb Raider Laura Croft is not on the list. That is just bad. She wears sunglasses. Those 1990s round ones, people. Just saying. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> JT. I'm gonna have to go um, <laughs> with uh, Mortal Kombat. Johnny Johnny Cage. Come on. Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat is the thirty point answer. Which gives you the lead at 220. Agent Iron Spider. Are we talking about player characters? Not just any random video game character, right? But we're talking about player characters. Um, there is one on the list that I'm not super familiar. Actually, there's two on the list that I'm not super familiar with. 
and I'm not sure if they're playable or not. The other ones I know are a, playable. I'm thinking of a character, but I can't remember his name. Um, but there was a Matrix game. So... Agent Smith. Agent Smith from The Matrix is not on the list. Or anybody from The Matrix. And we're back to Elise. <sighs> Um, can't believe my girl Laura got dogged out, but okay. Um, what about the dude from Deus Ex? Adam. Adam. Who's Jensen or whatever? <clears throat> yep, Adam Jensen from Deus Ex. It's a good answer, but not on the list. Oh, no. What? Okay. This back is to, a hard category. Back to JT. So JT, if you get the 50 or 40, you've secured your win. All right. So I think the community you ask, an old school or more new school? Got two. I'd say both. You can't hear me, but I'm laughing my head off. You sitting here trying to like logic your way out of this one. <laughs> I'm trying to logic my way out of it. Um, I'm gonna have to go with it. I'm gonna go with Duke Nukem. JT goes with Duke Nukem. That is the number one answer. Oh man, <laughs> I never played that game. I, I haven't either. <laughs> Literally every box art has him with sunglasses. I, I that that's who I, the game I was thinking of. I just couldn't remember. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Forty well, twenty and ten. If you want to give it a shot, Agent Iron Spider. Nope, I'll pass. Okay. Uh, the 10 point answer on that one I have no idea where they came up with this uh, Funky Kong from Diddy Kong Country <laughs> oh the, the, the Donkey Kong dude yeah from the Mario Kart a 20 point answer makes total sense been in some big games here recently Barrett Wallace from Final Fantasy 7 that was the other one I was going to go with, but I went with old school. I had to stick with Duke. So I get that one. 30 was Johnny Cage. Uh, 40, again, I don't play these games. I don't I don't know who this character is. Uh, Albert uh, Wesker from Resident Evil. I should have gotten that one. But this is from your, your the survey, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. And of course... Duke Nukem was the uh, the 50 point answer on that. Man, I can't believe I, I, Adam Jensen wasn't even on the list. Shoot. Yeah, that's another character that's always in sunglasses on yep. uh, the box yep. art for them games. He's got glasses on. Yep. Yeah. So congratulations well, to uh, JT <laughs> on earning uh, another trophy. Yep. Congrats. I keep getting keep getting closer and closer. Though. I mean, this is a that's what it was some good questions on this one but they yeah, uh the star wars one but i mean you were the only one that that won anything on that last round so <laughs> uh -huh. that 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 one that Those one really did, did uh, at least leave myself in <laughs> yeah but not for lack of trying made some good guesses but alas <laughs> it was a no well, for those who are Maybe watching, because... or go ahead, JT. 
I was just gonna tell Elise it's probably because they took away the sunglasses from her in the new games. That's probably why. Mm, probably. But I mean she literally wears sunglasses in all the old ones. Like mm -hmm. it's on the box art and everything. Yep. So <clears throat> well, cool funny. stuff. Uh, for those who are watching on YouTube, we'll wrap up the VOD right there. So thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.